What's up guys, you're watching another video. We have made it to Hawaii. We've actually been here for the past two days or three days already? Since Friday, y'all. We are here for six days, so we're already halfway through. But the past couple days, I haven't really been vlogging. Actually, I haven't been vlogging at all. I finally picked up the camera today and I wanted to vlog just a little bit of stuff. Um, I've seen a lot of people commenting like, Nick, you should just take some time off, have a vacation. And that's what I've been trying to do, trying. Good. Try to get some kind of content for you guys so you guys can see some of the experiences that we do I have been having to edit some of these mornings like in the morning I have a lot of like backed up content from like the GTR videos and the F80 video of me driving David's car I had to upload those videos here in Hawaii so I did have to edit a little bit in the mornings but not too much work which is good anyways right now we are heading to a surprise place that I'm surprising her with yesterday we saw G80 guys I'll put a picture right here Probably the only G80 on the island, I swear, dude. I've not seen any cool cars. This island is the big island, so it's the big island slash Kona, whatever you want to call it. There's not a very big car community on this island, I think. I've seen a couple Subarus, STIs, a lot of those actually. Next time I do want to go to Honolulu though, because I heard there's a huge car scene. And I think one of my boys that I follow has a Supra and a BMW M4 on that island and a GTR. So next time we definitely got to go to Honolulu and film some car content. Anyways, I'll pick back up the camera once we get to the place. And if you guys don't know already, she literally surprised me with this shit for my birthday. She bought the flight, she bought the hotel. <laughs> I feel like a, I have a sugar mama right now. <laughs> so what do you think we're doing today? I don't know, I'm scared. <laughs> Nick is like the most extreme like boys boy, so I'm terrified. Nah, it's gonna be cool what you like. Close your eyes. Okay. I don't know where I'm going. I swear guys, if I, ever win the lottery, all right? If I ever win the lottery, you know where to find me. I'm gonna be in Hawaii with an SVJ. I swear, I'll move out here and just have my SVJ and I'll be happy. All right, peek a look right here. <gasps> <laughs> we oh. see little baby seahorses like this big. My God. And they said we can hold them. <gasps> this is exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> we have to wash our hands. <laughs> you excited? Yes, I'm so excited. We're gonna put this on us. I don't think that was yeah, there's a bunch of kids and then just me and Chelsea. <laughs> That's, That's what they eat? Yeah. That's what the seahorses eat, guys. Little shrimps. Oh my god. Look at all the seahorses, guys. That's crazy. My god. She, if she doesn't hang on, don't forget her skin. Okay. I will get you another one. <laughs> Yeah, he's just staying right, on guys, you. Whoever wants to go first, if Diane and you oh, there you go. Right. There she goes, Walter. Well, <laughs> Alright, that's good. We're in business. So you guys can probably tell the difference. See how Ricky had that brood pouch? She does yeah. not, so we know that's a female seahorse. Alright, you guys ready to roll? I feel like All a right. seahorse right now. What do you do, Nick? What you think? Um, so cute. <laughs> They're just holding on to your finger, guys. Yes. Oh, these seahorses look... These things look crazy, bro. That was fun. Super fun. There was like a whole ass school in there. So, literally, we were definitely. Well, no, there's another couple <laughs> like us. But they're literally like teaching us everything about seahorses and that they're almost extinct, which Can is kind of sad. Thing? What? They said that in the wild they have 0.1% chance of surviving. Yeah. But here they have over 60% chance of surviving. Yeah, that's pretty crazy. So, they're, so they're trying to bring back the population of seahorses. They're cool little animals. They're really weird. I've never seen them in person in my life. Damn, guys, look at that breakfast though. I know. Right next to the water. Damn. I'm telling you guys, I would actually move here. <laughs> Imagine living here, dude. Like, it's crazy. You guys gotta travel. Go to Hawaii one time, guys. It's so sick, I'm telling you. We made it to a snorkeling spot. We're about to jump in. I rented this thing, so let's go see some fish. This is what I was most excited to do, guys, this whole trip. I'm all by myself, so hopefully I don't get eaten by a shark. Bro, this shit cold. <laughs> we got the fish
It is a new day. We are out here in Hawaii still. Nobody see some waterfalls. We're on the other side of the island. That side of the island looked all dry. Do you guys see this side of the island? Wow. like a rainforest. Wow. That looks insane, bro. Would you ride from the top? I would literally go in that water. I swear. Would you jump from the top to the bottom? Imagine? That's a high-ass waterfall. Looks like freaking Tarzan, bro. Looks like Avatar. This shit does not look real, guys. Like, I swear it doesn't look real. Waterfall tour. You see my own ankle? I was trying to look cool and I almost broke my ankle. All right, we made it to the top. Wow. So you have waterfalls right there, and then you come over here. Check this out. <laughs> guys, I know this is a very different vlog than usual. You guys got like freaking Animal Planet Nick over here. But it looks crazy and I have to film it because I'm sure a lot of people have never been here before. So I want to show you guys, like this is actually crazy. And like I said earlier in this vlog, if you guys can, travel bro. I swear it's insane to do. It's crazy to see other places of the world. Like everyone's always so trapped in their city, you know, like the small city that they grew up in. They don't like getting out and seeing the world. Guys, the world is huge. This is just Hawaii. Imagine like Japan. I want to go to Japan so bad. Like seeing things like this, like this shit doesn't look real, bro. I can't believe that this is a real place. Like, wow. <laughs> seeing this one thing that says like, yeah, money will always come and go, you know? The money will come back that you spend on your trip, but the time won't ever come back. And you only live once and life is so short. What the, look at this thing. That shit is sick. No way there's a freaking wide body FRS, bro. That is actually sick. So we have made it to another beach. This beach is actually known for a sea turtle, so hopefully we can see some. Look how clear the water is, guys. This is crazy, dude. Wow. It's so clear. It's like a pool. Big camera in the water. Hopefully I don't drop this camera. <laughs> I should have brought my GoPro, but turtle, look at it. Holy crap. He's sleeping, my boy. And I heard somebody say that if you can see a shell, it looks like he got bit by a shark or something, bro. No way. But he's chilling. I know the shell's like super hard, but it is crazy to see a freaking turtle just sleeping there. It's like a mini Japan. Bro, that looks crazy. So sick. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy shit. This is the best day of Nick's life. I don't know where we're at, but we're at a park and there's just cats everywhere. I don't know if you guys can see, look. One, two. <laughs> look at all these cats. <laughs> look at them just looking at us. Dude, I swear this looks like my cat at home. Guys, there's literally no way. We got pulled over in Hawaii, bro. <laughs> there's no way. <laughs> For using my phone while driving. But I was, I was looking at the maps, bro. I don't know where I'm at. I literally told him, oh, I'm sorry, it's my first time over here. I don't know where I'm at. Your license and the paperwork for the vehicle. Okay. This is a citation for using, utilizing a motor, uh, sorry, mobile electronic device prohibited, meaning you cannot use yourself while driving, okay? Right. If you want, you can sign your refuse by signing. It's not a mission of gear saying you receive a copy of the citation, okay? Alright. As well as I'm notifying you that you have 21 calendar days to take care of the citation. Alright. Okay? You want to mm -hmm. sign or refuse? Up to you. I mean, what? I don't understand. Okay, it's just a citation. <laughs> it's just acknowledging that you receive a copy of the citation, which will be the yellow carbon okay. copy. Yeah, of course. By signing below, I acknowledge service on this notice. All right. I mean, I can't refuse it, right? I'm sorry? <laughs> I can't refuse it, right? You can. What would that do? Nothing. That, what the? Well, I, I, I don't know how it works. I'm sorry. I just I no, don't know. It's just saying that it's not a mission of guilt. It's saying you receive a copy of the notice. That's yeah. all. You don't need to sign. If I don't sign it, what happens? It's There's no consequence at all. Guess not. I don't no? know. Yeah. All right. I literally was looking at the map and I was trying to figure out where to go. Okay. Well, maybe try to have your passenger take care of that. Yeah, right? of course. I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, Magic just pulls you out the car and takes you to jail. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what if I don't sign it? I don't get it. Bro, I don't know what he was trying to say. Guys, I don't know. I told him, I don't freaking know. I'm not from here. I don't know what happens if I don't sign a ticket. In California, I think if you don't sign a ticket, they're going to pull out the car and arrest you. But <laughs> he's like, you don't have to sign. It's up to you. I'm like, okay, but what happens if not, I don't? Like, all like, I, I heard don't get was it. like, you're just not admitting guilt. It's not $47. No way it says that. But babe, you're also using your camera. I don't go. He's going to pull you over again. Pull me over again. Oh, I'm looking at my phone for a second. I don't know why he's tripping, dude. He can't just be like, all right, dude, I understand. $340 for being on your phone. I feel like he could have easily let me go, but Message of whatever, the day. dude. Don't be on your phone in Hawaii. <laughs> so whack. All right, guys, we're back at the resort. 
This is in the hotel, guys. This hotel is huge. There's literally a train that takes you around all the way to all the hotels because there's so many buildings. And then over here, there's literally dolphins. Watch. It's hard to see on camera, but look at it. There he is. Holy crap, dude. Today's been dope, besides the stupid ticket that we got, but today has been super sick. The whole trip, low-key, has been super sick. Tomorrow's our last day here, uh, last full day here. Try to vlog a little bit more. I know I haven't been vlogging much on this trip, but like I said, I wanted to really focus on like the vacation part and not worry about having to vlog. So freaking nice. I don't even know what to vlog at this point. I'm not a lifestyle vlogger. They just want to see whatever. Where are they the G80s at? Nick. Where are the GTRs? <laughs> I don't even know what to film, guys. How do you become a... I'm not a YouTuber, I'm telling you. We are back in LA. We're back in Kevin's M4. Hawaii was super freaking fun. I didn't vlog much. I'm sorry. I should have vlogged more, but I really just wanted to chill, take a little vacation, take a little break. We're back. Back to work now. Gotta get back on the daily vlog. Pretty cool day today. We're gonna shoot Kevin's new merch. Kevin's dropping new merch, guys. This is probably my favorite one that he's done so far. I mean, he's only done like two drops, but this is freaking insane. I don't know how he's gonna top it. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. No way, bro. It literally says rich and it has the Hollywood sign with the palm trees, his two cars. Dude, this is freaking sick. And then the quality of the hoodie. Damn. I got to step it up, G. My boy's taking me out the game. Yeah, we're about to have a little photo shoot with his new merch. As you guys can hear, his E92 is getting started because we're going to take both cars out and we're going to shoot them with the merch. So, probably going to drive the M4. Or maybe the E92, I don't know, maybe switch off. It's always cool to drive Kevin's cars. <laughs> I do tease them a lot, but they are freaking sick. It's a GTS, guys. It says it right here, actually. Look. The Lime Rock Edition, only 200 units were made worldwide. Only 200, guys, and Kevin has one. And then the GTS, 700 units worldwide, 300 in the US, and Kevin also has one. So they are super rare. His cars are sick. Like, it's the freaking GTS, bro. It's crazy. Comes with the cage, comes with the fire extinguisher, the seat delete. All this is OEM. Like, it literally comes from BMW like this, bro. So, it's crazy. And then, I think if we find some time, I want to go look at a new car, guys. As you guys know, I've been in the market for a new car for the longest now. I'm very indecisive, though. I can't decide what to get. The two cars that I really, really want to get is an R8 or a G80. Those are the only two cars that I want. And uh, there's a special car for sale about an hour away. It's a good deal. I don't even want to tell you guys what car it is yet because I kind of want to surprise you guys. I might test drive it. I don't know if I'm going to vlog it or not because if I do end up buying the car, I want it to be a surprise for you guys. But one last debate in the comments, guys, please. One last time. R8 or G80, what do you guys think I should get? A stick shift G80 or a supercar R8? What would be more fun? What would be more practical? What would be more enjoyable? What would be more smart from a business standpoint? All that good stuff. Guys, I am so stressed over this new car situation. I cannot pick what I want. I want both, <laughs> but obviously we can't do that yet. Anyways, we'll see. We might go check out the new car today. And who knows if it's a good deal and if everything works out, if the drive is good and maybe, we get a, maybe we'll get a new car. Today? Can I drive that for? Yes, G. That's how Kevin, I'm not driving old cars anymore. I can't drive the E92, G. It's too old. The Lime Rock E92. I'm joking with him. See, I joke with him all the time, guys. <laughs> As you guys know, I do want another E92. I want way too many cars, guys. All you hear from my vlogs is I want this, I want this, I want this. <laughs> I want too many. Rich! Bro, this merch is actually sick. You like it? I don't know how you're gonna top it, G. Like, what's next after this? <laughs> this one's it's sick. Nice one. Yes, bro. I missed Dude. you. No, you didn't. G. Where have you been? You should have came with me. Why'd, why'd, you go, why'd you go for so long? I know. Loki was long ass time. But I'm happy to be back, G. Everybody's like, where's Nick? Where's Nick? Where's your boyfriend at? <laughs> ah, bro. Ah, ah. What if I break the lip? Please do not break the lip. How much is it? 1500 <laughs> bucks, bro. <laughs> Look how sick this is. This has little straps, guys, to close the door. And I don't know if you guys know, but this is like carbon fiber composite, I think, the whole door. It feels crazy being in the F80 again. F8X. <laughs> so loud. Bro, the E92 is ridiculous. crazy bro like this thing was made for the racetrack damn also i don't know if you guys 
guys know, but this car actually has KW suspension stock. Like, it literally comes from the factory like that. I'm telling you, this thing was made for the racetrack. Dude. Those downshifts are ridiculous. What? Well, the United 2 makes this thing sound whack. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that just sounds feels crazy. Way, like faster and lighter. You feel it? Yes, it feels crazy. crazy. How much, G? For what? Buy this. Should be like 90. We're good. I'll give you 50. <laughs> give me 50 for this one. <laughs> Bro. Check this out, guys. What better place to shoot this merch than the freaking Hollywood sign? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Bro, I don't think I've ever seen it. All these years living here, I don't think I've ever seen it that close. Damn, it looks crazy. Bro, I don't know how we're gonna shoot this, Kevin. There's a lot of people here. We got the perfect spot, bro. The Hollywood sign's right behind it. That is Rich, bro, it actually looks crazy. This is a perfect spot for the perfect merch, I swear, yeah. dude. I should've brought the GoPro so I could do a POV. It's crazy seeing your own car like bro I've never seen anybody like drive my car or, like whip it like how you were driving it's pretty sick <laughs> what if I just start doing donuts no I almost did it but I was like yeah. Kevin's gonna be so mad at me how does the United 2 look trash old old <laughs> I'm just kidding <laughs> no it looks cool it's loud as fuck you want I added a uh, touch screen now I know I was you messing with it. it already isn't that crazy it's I like wish my car's 2020 now I wish I was able to do that <laughs> just don't understand what we just went through the past two hours me and Kevin <laughs> but we have been driving for two hours to go look at a car actually we're gonna go to one car to see some car that I want and then as we were driving down there to Orange County Kevin found another one in a different city the complete opposite way so we changed routes to that one because this one was a way cooler spec honestly a crazy ass spec it kind of makes me sad now I feel like I'm gonna be settling for this car I don't know. Kevin found this random one. I didn't even see it. We changed directions. I hit up the guy. He said it was available. We started driving this two hour drive, over two hours, it was two hours and a half. <laughs> we were 30 minutes away. And he texted me and he's like, yo, just to let you know, someone just bought the car. I'm like, bro, are you kidding me? How is it with my luck? Like, I don't understand. The car that we were about to go look at and possibly buy, most likely buy, to be honest. This car was perfect. Sick ass color, sick ass interior. Oh, dude. I'm actually sad, G. Nice it's kind of like the spec that I want. Yeah, that was the perfect spec. <laughs> I don't understand what's with my luck, guys. We drove two hours, and how out, out of all days, the day we want to come look at the car. Out of all times. And we're driving two hours, and I told the guy, I'm on my way, it gets sold. Oh my god, dude, I'm so sad, guys. I don't know, maybe it just wasn't meant to be, I guess. What's going on with my luck, guys? Same with the Arizona, bro. I drove all the way to Arizona. Obviously yeah, not for that yeah, reason, yeah, but yeah. I wanted to do it while I was out there. And as I get to Arizona, I hit up the guy with the R8 in Arizona and he says it's still too. I'm like, bro, what is wrong with it? I feel like nothing is falling into place. I don't know why. All the cars are just getting sold when I'm almost there. I'm about to get it. That should happen twice. <laughs> bro, so I don't know what to do, guys. Um, should we drive another hour in the complete opposite Smoked way? Out. Guys, that would be like a total of like three hours plus home. Probably like four hours just to look at a car. Now I'm just kind of bummed because, like I said, that spec is way cooler than this spec. And uh, now I'm just kind of bummed. Now I feel like I'm settling. Even though this is the one I was excited for at first. But once seeing yeah, this one for sale, I was like, damn. 
I don't this know. spec was crazy. That was the best spec. I fucked up. You should show it to them. I know. I should show you guys the car to be honest. Badass. Now nah, I'm gonna get more sad. <laughs> it was everything you wanted. Everything. The color, the interior. It was manual. Bro, how does it happen? Price. Yeah. It was the perfect car. I might sip out this bottle until it get hollow. Shit, I might sip out this bottle just drowning my sorrows. Drowning my sorrows be better tomorrow. Cause these broken dreams is as hard as it gets. My nigga died at only 25. I'm thanking God for letting me see in 26. Shit.